Good afternoon, St. Catherine's Catholic Primary School. It's Mr. Longley here. I'm just gonna do a little quick video update for you to show you how to upload to tasks and to cover any problems that you might have been having with where to upload to specific tasks. Now, as you can see, I've logged in as a test pupil. This is my new test pupil account that I can use to show you how things work. And my things to do list is here. These are all the tasks that I've set in my class and you'll have something similar from your teacher. We've got white rose maths, we've got an RE task, we've got some writing tasks, we've got grammar, spelling, uh, creative, uh, comprehension. Now I'm gonna click on the grammar task and it takes me to this page here. Now here's a little quick explanation about what's expected that I've written there, accompanied by a PDF with the grammar activity. Now if we click on that, it will take you to the PDF which you can either download or you can print or you could also work on uh, a blank piece of paper uh, and answer the questions and then upload to the task afterwards as a photo and I'll show you that in a moment. I've also got it on my iPad so it looks very similar here. Okay again we've got the file here and then just in a moment, we're gonna look at this work, my work section at the bottom. Now, say I've completed the task and I have given uh, my answers and I think I'm happy with what I've completed. You need to click to upload, okay? Which is the big button there, okay? Upload with the green arrow, okay? It's exactly the same on the iPad, okay? Upload is there. Once I've clicked on upload, Obviously on a computer, you're gonna have a slightly different layout, but I am gonna search in my home learning folder because I created a home learning folder to keep myself busy. There it is there, double click in there. And as you can see, I've got my three pages of grammar completed there, okay? Now what you can do is you can highlight all three and hit open and automatically it will upload them to the task. And it says straight away at the top, well done, you have completed the task. Okay, so that is now complete. Okay, I don't actually need to do any more than that. That has now been submitted to your teacher. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see grammar one, grammar two, grammar three. Okay, three pages from the activity that has been set. Okay, now exactly the same on the iPad. Okay, I'd go to, go to upload, slightly different now. Okay, if you're on a smartphone or you're on an iPad or a tablet, you'll have these three options or something similar. Take photo, which is obviously when you want to take a photo of what you've been doing. Photo library, which is obviously where most of the photos will be stored, or browse. Okay, now if I go to take photo, it'll bring up my photo. Oh, here we go. And say, for example, my photo was on my laptop for this purposes of this video. I'm just gonna pop the phone down for the moment. And get myself organized. So I'm gonna find one of the options that I've, say, I've been working on. Okay. So here's grammar one. Okay, here's my iPad. All you have to do is simply take the picture of what you're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna take a picture of it. Ooh like so. Okay, I've snapped the picture in there, there on my iPad, like that. Obviously you might be taking a picture of a blank piece of paper that you've written on, or it might be a, a creative task that you've been doing. And then I'm just gonna go to use photo there. And as you can see again, at the bottom, it will upload it there. And again, as you can see at the top, you, well done, you have completed the task, okay? So all of those have been saved to there, to my, the My Work section of that task, okay? And every single subject has its specific tasks. Just gonna close that down and minimize that, okay? Now we're back to my work on the PC. So I'm gonna hit my home page, And as you can see, it's now disappeared from here because I have completed that task. It's now been finished. Now the only thing that this is different for, okay, is the maths task. My suggestion is, because you've got five days worth of maths, is that you wait till you've got all of them, 
okay? And you then upload at that point then, okay? Now, you can see that it's tracking your work, okay? So here it's got folders and files that I've already uploaded. Obviously, this is maths, so what I would need to do when I've completed my maths is go to upload and upload my new maths work, okay? If you'd like to be fancy, you could actually create folders as well, okay? Um, but we won't do that at the moment, that might be a later video, but again, you can see here, you could create a document, a painting, a video, a snapshot, or a sound clip that would go into your work. You can also view your work if you go back to your home page. Okay, and you go to my work on the side, then you'll also see your work area, your workstation here. But essentially, the simplest way to do it is to go to your home page, you click on your task when you've finished it, okay? So that's my creative one. You upload what you would like to upload, and as soon as you've done that, it will save it. These files down here are what has already been uploaded and is saved in your work section, okay? Now it might be that your work might apply to more than one task. In that case, you could just click on one of these and add it in but most of you will be using the upload feature to upload a picture or uh, a file or a video to that. So I hope that helps and I hope that clears anything up. Now, one thing to just say finally is please make sure that you're choosing the right task when you are uploading a file, okay? Hover over to double check and it will tell you what that task is, okay? Any questions then please do contact us. Enjoy, it's really great seeing all of the brilliant work you're doing, so keep it up.